Hello, my friends, and we will continue with the loops. We have introduced in the previous videos the while loop, and we have learned about iteration and how while loop think and how while loop will be executing its code according to the condition validation. Now we are going to learn about a new type. It is called of, the, of loops. It's called what do while loop or repeat repeat while loops a variant of why of the while loop is called the do while loop which is do while loop okay this is do while loop it differs from the while loop in that the condition is evaluated at the end of the loop rather than at the beginning okay so it differs from the while loop in that the condition is evaluated at the end of the loop rather than the beginning please write it down this uh, note because it's very important to distinguish between and uh, how to use and when to use the loop uh, while loop and the do while loop okay you construct a do while loop like this do we start by do and here is the loop this is the loop code and the while while condition here is the condition condition okay so we start by the do and execute and evaluate the condition at the end of the loop not not at the beginning of the loop so here is the beginning of uh, here is at the beginning of the while there is a condition validation and here in the do while the condition is uh, evaluated at the end of the loop so it will execute the, the code loop for the first time even if the condition is not the true this is very important trick guys okay so here is the condition how to do a quick example to understand it we will make by the do i will variable x i will use it i have created before so do loop code x equal to new x plus in the same way plus x plus one i will do it again so while condition the validation of the condition sum equal to less than uh, 10 or x equal less than 10. okay in this example the outcome is the let me make it 100 to be making uh, it the same as before okay i have i need to comment comment this and i need to print ln the value of x okay so let's start again and here we go in this in this example the outcome is the same as before however that is not always the is not always the case you might get different result in different conditions okay so what are the conditions consider that if i will change the first one while x less than one or i will make it as 10 so if x less than 5 do this and the same 
thing I will make while x less than 5 or 10. So I will give x for the first while loop and see if it will print x. And I will pass it the same x for the do while. Okay. Uh, if it is, it would be increased and give us 11 or not. So let me run and see. And here we go, guys. It is 21. So the first here is the difference. Okay. Please concentrate with me. If you are using the while, it will validate the condition at first and then allows you to enter the code inside the loop. So here, x, which is 10, is not less than 5. So 10 less, does not equal or, or less than uh, 5. So this code will never be executed. Okay? So it skips this loop. It goes down to do and then validate. So it execute the code. It put here the new value of x, which is equal to old value of x, which is five. And five plus one, five plus one is equal to six. Uh, sorry, it is equal to 10. Okay, so the value of x is equal to 10, not 5. 10 here and 10 here. 10 plus 11 is equal to 21. Now x is equal to 21. Print it. It allows us to see inside the console that it is 21. Then it validates the condition. If x, which is 21 less than 10, no, it is not true to go up and do it again. Okay, this is the syntax. This is the algorithm. How the do while loop and the while loop uh, execute and uh, works inside Kotlin. Okay.